I just enjoy uh, the feel of going fast. It's kind of it's kind of like drag racing. Once you get into it, you're just you're stuck with it. Just the feel of the wind going against you. Is it a feeling of liberation? Yeah, pretty much. You feel free? Yeah. Patrick Rice seemed destined to be a speed skater since his very first competition. When I first started off, my very first competition I went to, I made it on podium for the very first time. The first one? First competition I ever went to, I made it on podium. This is the very first medal that I ever got at the very first competition that I went to. This is your first competition yes. where you made podium? Yes, for the very first time. Very first competition, made it on podium. I didn't realize when I first did it that I made it on podium until I got off the floor because they're like, you do realize you just made it on podium, right? And I'm <laughs> like, no, I did not. They're like, yeah, you did. And I'm like, okay. Did it even register what no, that meant? No, it did not. <laughs> and until they, they uh, was like, yeah, you made it on podium. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Cool is an understatement because that moment proved that Patrick is great at inline speed skating, a sport he only began learning seven years ago, which was a miracle in itself. Patrick was born with uh, six different con uh, congenital heart defects. He had open heart surgery at a week and five days of age where they went in and basically patched the VSD and um, stopped his heart, put him on a heart-lung machine, and switched the arteries to where they were supposed to be. They told us there was a good chance that he wouldn't live past 11. Against the odds, Patrick made it to age 11, but shortly after his 11th birthday, Patrick had a heart attack. He had an episode when he was 11 years old. They had to go in and do four stents in his heart, found he had an enlarged heart, and um, they got him back on track, and it was after that where he picked up skating. His doctor wasn't happy about it, but <laughs> he rode off on it. With the doctor's permission, Patrick began his new journey on wheels while negotiating his physical limitations. When I first started off, my heart wasn't used to it, so it took me a bit to get used to it, but now it's really it's no problem. He will let me know when he's done, and I know when not to push him. There's like some points that I start having a few problems, but it kind of takes a lot longer than what it did before a long time ago. And is that a credit to you building endurance over yes. the years? When you feel like you have almost hit your limit, what is that feeling internally? Mm, like pain to the chest normally, and I have to like get off the floor. I normally know my limits and know when I have to get off. Now 20 years old, Patrick is on skates every day, determined to not let his birth defects define him. I don't let it stop me. I just kind of do my own thing. It's not just the heart problems, it's the autism. It's his dyslexia. I mean, it's all of his conditions. He does not let them slow him down or hold him back in any way. If he can figure out a way to make it happen, he will. A lot of determination. <laughs> I've a never lot seen of a child at his age have so much determination on what they want, and they go for it. Determination has carried Patrick this far, and his family has supported him as his surgically repaired heart fills with love for speed skating. Jonah Carp, Fox 54 Sports.